So, Leeds United zero, Arsenal one. Arsenal's greatest start to a top flight season ever. Mm. Nine wins out of ten at the beginning of a season. It went pretty. Uh, VAR um, crashed. It crashed. VAR was against us. When it weren't today, it crashed. And uh, the electric, the power went out. Maybe they uh, didn't pay the electric bill in Leeds. I don't know. But one thing's for sure. At the end of the game, VAR saved us. Uh, the only highlight for us, really, um, was maybe the goalkeeping performance, because I thought he was superb, and uh, Saka's goal. Other than that, boy, it was a smash and grab. But sometimes, sometimes you do have to do that. If you have aspirations to be champions, you have to win ugly, like you said in your fan cam, Jez. And uh, Manchester City didn't win ugly. They lost. We're currently four points clear at the top of the table. Uh, Jez, for anyone who hasn't watched your fan cam, um, before you give me your little breakdown, make sure you subscribe to Jez's channel, link in the description, Arsenal history and more. Um, give me your thoughts, mate. What did you make of that overall? Um, yeah, it was, it was a shocking, boring um, performance. Um, I think the tactics were all wrongly in Kenny. Um, I mm. think it was just a uh, total... Yeah, we look, we know. Going to Leeds, going to Ellen Road, they always attack, attack, attack. That's their beliefs. Um, we got lucky. We got away with it. We won it ugly. Um, it, it is almost reminiscent of the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, George Graham settings, win it ugly, 1 0 to the Arsenal. The only difference I will say is back then we actually had a, a decent defence. Our defence <laughs> today was shocking. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was very poor. And we'll see that in the ratings. And I don't care if you don't like my ratings, um, it's my honest relating, uh, ratings. But yeah, yeah we, we couldn't care less whether you want to slag us off in the comments. If you don't like it, just leave yours. Just leave your player ratings. We don't care. We're coming back Thursday. Mm. Who cares? Um, anyway, Kenny, 19, Kenny Ken, nineteen seventy-two on Insta. Follow Kenny. Your thoughts, my friend. You know what? It was it was one of those games that if 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 it would be something. You know, remember the question of sport. What happened next? Yeah. And you, you, there's so many like instances where you you have question of sport. What happened next? I the lights. Sorry, there was no communication between the referees and VAR. <laughs> or goal line technology. So the game got held up for 37 minutes. We had a penalty after from VAR, which, you know, Bamford missed. We had Gabriel Magulesh basically trying to hand the game to Leeds. You had players so off the pace, you know, Odegaard, awful, awful. And his poor performances since, um, well, since um, August have been quite average, really. And I just have to be honest, he started off um, playing really well, but he's been average. Gabriel Jesus, worst game in an Arsenal shirt. Never want to see that again. It doesn't matter um, whether you've got credit in the bank. There's no such thing as credit back at a big club like Arsenal. Every game's winnable and we you've got to perform every game. Sorry, it doesn't matter your reputation. If we're going to slag off Gabriel Magalesh, then Gabriel Jesus is in the dock. The dock with him. The other person is in the dock. Tommy Asu, you know, you've given me some, you know, great satisfaction, but your performance today was shocking. You're in the dock as well. And, and, you know, the, the player that, you know, that is going to be the man of the match, we think, is going to be Ramsdale. But the rest of them need a lot, leave a lot to be desired. Jacker today in the dock as well, not good enough. You know, didn't didn't um, give the midfield them any um, support. Left it to one person, you know, allowed himself to get pressed out of the game. So he's in the dock as well. So no one comes out of it with any credit, even the goal scorer. The fact that he, had, he got taken off as well, no credit in the bank. But you know what? We won, and that's great. But we have to accept we're in a title challenge. So if we are genuinely in a title challenge, then you can ride your luck maybe once or maybe two or three times. But getting into the business end of the season, we start playing like that against mm -hmm. better teams because the title could be lost at White Hot Lane in January, City home and away, Liverpool at Anfield. That's where the title could be lost. And then Stanford Bridge as well. Let's not forget Potter's got them playing Stanford really Bridge good as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and let's, let's not forget Newcastle away as well. So those sort of games where... Oh. He's froze. 
The demons have come along. Mm. The best we got. I'm back. I'm back. back. I'm back. back. I'm never away. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was in mid. He's gone. Seriously, I'm. <clears throat> No, he's gone. He's, got, he's gone. He's gone. Anyway, let's get into player ratings. Uh, let's go with the goalkeeper, um, Jez. <laughs> he um, didn't have to save the penalty because Bamford spanked it wide. Uh, but he did make some very, very good saves in that game. Uh, his kicking, I didn't think his kicking was amazing today. There was a lot of times where he hoofed the ball um, just aimlessly. Yeah, and uh, there was a time where he, he put me a little bit uneasy. But, but, but the standard of these player ratings is going to be very low today. Uh, he was a shining light. And without him in goal today, if we had seen the Turner in goal, it probably would have ended up in a loss. So what did you rate him? Mate? Can he's back? Yeah, f f sorry, sorry, everyone. Uh, good thing about um, Kenny's 4G... It helps with the computer. <laughs> Go on, Jez. Give us your uh, player rating for Aaron Ramsdale. Ramsdale. Yeah. Ramsdale for me, my man of the match. Um, I'll give him an eight because he was the only decent player to my mark on the on the pitch for Arsenal. Um, he took one for the team. He got one in the crown jewels. Um, uh, as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, that's going to work. Um, and fair play to the fella. Uh, without him today on in, in goal, I think it would have been a loss. And he, yeah, he rescued us. I can think of at least four occasions today. He rescued Arsenal. And, uh, yeah, it's my man of the match, and I'll give him an eight. Uh, let's move on to um, Tommy Asu, Kenny, filling again at left-back. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, um, Tommy Asu, but that was poor. You know, and it, you know, I have to mark it accordingly. I can't when I when I mark people. There's no credit in the bank. Last week is like a year ago with me. You know what I mean? Today's today, and today I'm, I can't give you anything more than a four because you're really bad. You're really bad, really awful. And, you know, like you struggled today, leads, but that's not. Um, just a consequence of your your carelessness today. That's a consequence of Leeds forcing us into mistakes and um, forcing the game, away, trying to take the game away from us. So, you know, we weren't good enough. And Tommy Asu is um, part of that, um, you know, group who, um, you know, for me, is going to get a low mark. He's, he wasn't good enough to um, quell the Leeds um, attacks. So that's a four all day long for me. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. Benjamin White was on loan at Leeds United once upon a time. At one point, I thought he was still on loan because he kept passing to White shirts. <laughs> what did you make of him, Jez? Yeah, poor today. Um, I've, I've, you know, the last couple of games, I've really thought, yeah, this guy's uh, running on now. But no, not today. <laughs> Shocking. Very poor. Um, I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, in the first 10 minutes... He was trying to overlap uh, Saka, which I wanted to see, to draw the pressure off Saka. And then that all stopped. And I'm like, mm. why? Maybe something I didn't see. Maybe he was told by Arteta. I have no idea. I can't come on that at all. Yeah, he was poor today. I'm, yeah, but I'll give him a five. I'll give him a five for effort. Uh, let's go to uh, William Saliba. Uh, gave away a penalty, uh, hmm. Kenny. Um, I think Absolutely. he thought it was handball. First half, I thought he was our best player. Hmm. Yeah, defensive-wise, anyway. Hmm. Uh, second half, it was almost like he'd caught the bozo uh, gene. Yeah. And uh, he just went into self-destruct. Insane, insanely poor. What did you make of him? Struggle today, you know, he's not getting an eye mark from me at all either because, you know, you've got to reflect, you know, the fact that, you know, a lot of these um, eye marks and poor performances are not uh, actually a consequence of, you know, just their bad play and their bad reaction to Leeds um, throwing the game at us. It's because Leeds forces and mistakes and, you know, sometimes you've got to be good enough to sort of, uh, in my opinion, you know, um, quell those attacks and we weren't good enough today. So, in that on that basis, on that basis... 
all I've got to say is that Saliba today, my friends, you are getting a five. Um, let's move to the bozo gene. <laughs> you didn't think it was a penalty. Um, and in the law of the game, um, it probably wasn't a penalty because the initial foul was from Bamford. Um, if that was anywhere else on the pitch and um, a goal had gone in, for example, but then there was an off the ball incident, which then resulted in a red card, it wouldn't chalk the goal off and come back for the foul, would it? So I get it. I understand it. I agree with you. I think it was um, a foul from Bamford, which makes it not a penalty. But Jez, don't let me sway you. It's your, it's your, uh, it's your player ratings. Uh, I thought he was shocking, and I think he's been shocking for about a year, mate. But you, you give me your thoughts on Gabriel's performance today. Yeah, it's poor. It's very poor. Um, I agree with you what you said. Um, I mean, on your watch along, I did put a comment in to say that it was never, ever a penalty because it wasn't. Um, Bamford was looking for that. He quite clearly barged him in the back. Gabriel turned. He got barged. He went down. His foot come up. There was no real contact there. The assistant linesman got it totally, totally wrong. And thankfully, VAR got it right because that was a harsh, that was a harsh um, statement that the uh, referee made. VAR looked at it, checked it. it all, you didn't look at this again. He did, and he turned, he rescinded the red card and then gave Bamford a yellow card. So, fair play, got away with that. But, yeah, Gabriel, he, he's got a man up. Um, he's, I mean, today that was poor. That was poor. And my rating for him today is a four. <laughs> I think that's extremely generous, but it's your player <laughs> rating. <laughs> uh, let's move into midfield. Um, Thomas Party, Kenny. Struggled, mate. You know, what's happening is that, you know, um, he got overrun because, um, our, you know, like a lot of there was a lot of mistakes in front of him. Like, for instance, you know, there was not enough support from his midfield partners. And, from the front, we weren't just we weren't we weren't at races when it came to pressing the ball. Normally, Odegaard does a good job for us pressing the ball. So does um, you know, um, my guy um, Jesus works his nuts off. But you know, the way Leeds just, you know, because we didn't have anyone holding the ball up, the ball kept on coming back. And I just thought, you know what? I just think it was probably the hardest game of his life. You're thinking, oh my god, where's my help? So. Worked his nuts off, but he just wasn't good enough because, you know, I expect as a leader of the team, got to do better than that. So I'm giving him a five. Again, I think generous, but it's your ratings. This is not my ratings. I only give the player ratings. If you don't agree with the ratings, lads, or lasses, <laughs> uh, just leave yours in the comments section instead of crying because we don't care. Uh, let's go to uh, Granite Xhaka, Jez. Oh, my favourite player. <laughs> well, he's, he's been our best player this season. <laughs> he weren't today. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, no, no. I don't know at times what he was doing. I really don't. I mean, I'm, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, he, he just disappeared, came back, disappeared. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Granite. Today, for me, you're getting a four. You were bloody awful. Uh, let's go to our club captain. Not the well, he is the official captain. He's not the actual captain, but on paper and to the media and to the world and to the adoring public, he is Kenny uh, Martin Odegaard hooked off again. Um, Disappointing. Worried about the him. goal. Set up the goal. I'm worried about him. Um, it's worrying. Go on, mate. Yeah, because because a player a player that you know that is impressed me this start of the season. I was very impressed with him in pre season. I'm beginning to see you know. Times where he's not lasting ninety minutes, his his performances are dropping off in terms of like off the ball, you know. And then when he's not in a position where 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 he's able he's affecting the the game from an offensive point of view or from an attacking point of view, there's there's no contribution from him, no contribution from him at all. You would have thought having Fabio Vieira, you know, to push him would push him to um you know like better performances. It's like every time you kind of Accept that on 60 minutes, 65 minutes, we've got to make a change, and he's the one who's been sacrificed. And a player of that ability and of the inf of that influence that we demand, now nah, it's not acceptable because you know it's a bit of a trend now. Liverpool last week, 
Tottenham, you know, again in, in Norway oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, a game that was designed for him, homecoming. You know, some some concerning. You know, you know, it wouldn't be out of place. It wouldn't be important of me to suggest. You know what? Let's take him out of the firing line and let's give this um, Vieira a chance because right now I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing. There's no doubt he's involved in the goals, but that's just not enough. If we're not accepting it from Mesut Ozil, we can't accept it from this guy. Can't have it mm. one way because we I sagged Mesut Ozil off because he made a goal contribution but didn't do anything else. So if if so that means. If it's all right for Ozil to get criticised, who's a bigger name than this guy, then he's having it as well. Because I set high standards for players who might be our creative players. So, you know, I'm giving him a four. Because I'm that's just not acceptable, mate. Sorry, I've had enough now. Giving you a bite and well, you, you're just throwing this back in our faces. Generous, but again, it's your ratings. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to our goal scorer, Jez. Um, he literally plays every game, doesn't he? Maybe not the whole 90 minutes of every game, but he does feature in pretty much every game. Um, his last right-footed shot before today, nearly at the fella in the house behind the goal, eating a kebab uh, in Norway. The one today, uh, you likened it to Canu's goal against Chelsea many, many moons ago, where he was nearly in line with the byline. And uh, he slapped that so hard. I thought the keeper made a cock up. When I see the reverse angle from behind the goal, no keeper in the world saves that. What a mm. finish. Mm. What did you make of him? Um, yeah, great goal. Absolutely. That's a, that's a you know, class goal. Now, I did say, I remember the uh, Canoe goal at uh, Stamford Bridge back in, I think it was 90, whatever, 97. Well, I can't remember now. But um, we actually slapped Chelsea that day and... Um, that was a great goal, and fair. Oh, I thought he was going to kick on, but then he just disappeared. And again, he the trouble is, he was getting overrun by the defence. He tried. I, I just it frustrates me, Lee Kenny. He tries to do this stupid move. He never gets away with it. He get well. Okay, one in ten he does this stupid flick mm. over the head drama. He needs to be coached out of that. Um, mm. This guy has major talent. I think he today played 53 consecutive games for Arsenal, I think. Or there or there around about that. Um, the, guy, the guy is an absolute drama to defences. But today, he was two in and out for me. I'll give him a six. I'll tell you why I'll give him a six. is because he scored a very, very good goal. Um, and uh, I just hope he continues with this. But my concern is he will be going to the World Cup. We, uh, we, we know that. So uh, my concern is that he, if he goes there too tired, he gets an injury um, and he's out for a month, six weeks. But, yeah, I'll give him a six because that was, that was a class goal. Mm, he, he, he does put the shift in, but it, it don't help when he don't have a right back that overlaps. No, so he's always isolated. When the right back does overlap, um, we tend to do better. But anyway, let's move to the opposite side. Um, let's go to Gabriel Martinelli. I thought he started very lively, Kenny. Um, always he does. Absolutely shot to pieces by about seventy minutes, mate. Yeah, that always does. But because of his pace and the fact that you know we need him for that kind of counter attack, especially when we're trying to sort of like you know how do I say it, protect the game just hit the ball up to him, he'll run and he'll stretch the fences. So he was effective to a certain extent in that. He wasn't um, as bad as um, his um, compatriot, you know, in the middle. So, you know, I, 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 will, I, will, I will give him a, a, a generous mark and probably give him a good mark, five. <laughs> uh, let's go to um, one of our best players this season. Uh, got hooked in the second half. Um, in and out of the game. Didn't really notice him today. Uh, but Gabriel Jesus, Jez. Oh, I thought he was poor man today. Worst performance I've seen him in an Arsenal shirt, to be fair. Um, I don't think he was getting the service. I think he was getting frustrated, to be honest. Um, because we were getting overrun by the uh, Leeds defence and midfield, he just was like in no man's land at times. I don't believe he actually had a shot on goal. I know he mm. tried to have a header, but that was that was ineffective. Um, 
what I do admire this guy for is that he doesn't give up. He yeah. runs and runs and runs and runs. And he tried his best, but it was, yeah, a poor performance today. I think that contributed, as I just said, from the midfield. Um, so I'll give him a five. Uh, let's go to Kieran Tierney. Kenny. Uh, you know what? Kieran Tierney, again, came on. He, uh, if I was Kieran Tierney, I'd be knocking on the manager's door and saying, what's the hell's going on? Mm. What the hell's going on? You, you, you know, I was the number, I was the number one um, left back at the club when, mm. when, when I've been playing. All of a sudden, you sign someone else, and I'm now pecking order to him, and now I'm pecking order to um, Tommy S, who's not even a left back. I'll be having a, having a right go, because let's face it, it worked last week against Liverpool, and sometimes it, it those kind of horses of courses work once and probably not the next, the second, third time. So I'll be, you know, I'll be having the up. And, you know, let's face it, you know, the game, it wasn't a game where he, where he was going to bomb down the left-hand side and and um, overlap uh, Martinelli. He was just there to um, get another body and to start blocking crosses, you know, and just trying to clear his lines. And that's what he was quite to do. So, you know, he did that and I can only give him a five. But, you know, the things that we like hearing for, i.e., you know, putting those crosses in from an attacking areas, you know, excellent, accurate crosses. He wasn't able to do that. Leeds would just play so well. And I think as much as we're critical of our lads today, because we expect better, you know, we have to, you know, take our hats off to Leeds United and think, you know what, how can a team play like they did against Crystal Palace, that kind of passion and performance and do the same against us and not get anything out of it? Mm. You know, it's probably one of the footballing injustices. But we've won. But because we know we can be better than that, we're not happy. Because we know from last year's experience what it led to. It it led to a normal, mighty crash um, in the business yep. end of the season. So we don't want to happen again. Fact. Um, let's go to Fabio Vieira. Teabag. Yeah. Um, what did he actually do? Not a lot. Um, came on. I he disappeared. Um, yeah, this guy. Yeah, I've got no doubt this guy's got ability. We know that he scored a great goal a couple of weeks ago. Fair play. <clears throat> He's just not big enough for the Premier League right now. He was bullied. Um, mm. These have always been. A very, very physical team. And uh, Kenny, you remember, um, mm. Lee, you remember uh, the great days of the great Leeds United games against Chelsea when you had the Norman Hunters, Billy Brem. Yeah, those ones, yeah. You know, they'd cut you in half. Um, uh, Jackie Charlton, all these people. Mm. Um, you know, Leeds have always been a team that will come on you and beat you up. Mm. And to bring him on in that game at that point in time today was a poor, poor, poor decision. Um, but having said that, yeah, sorry to cut you off. Having said that, there was nobody on the bench with any kind of physicality because mm. no. our bench is championship level. Well, no, 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 we, to no, we, we have too many ballers. Yeah, but you think about it. This is this has been systematic of um, since. Um, 2007 or maybe 2005 where we're not that team that has you know that has um, big big athletes although you can argue Tommy Ass is a big guy mm. you know like Benjamin White is tall but he's but Gabriel's massive he can have it and Thomas Carter is a unit so in that respect in the areas I think the areas you're talking about like in midfield you want you know you want everyone to have some sort of physicality not just the, the defensive midfielder but yeah Jez is right you know you look at Man City today. There's some beef, beef in there. As long, alongside their their um, panache, Liverpool, alongside their attacking, there's beef in there. And Tottenham, they got beef in that team as well. So, you know, physicality and big, big lads who can have it still works in this league. And you know, you know, you you can't um, kind of minimise the effectiveness of those kind of players and the necessity for them in games like this. I mm. don't think Fabio Vieira. I reckon if I was with Fabio Vieira, we're probably about the same stamp. <laughs> and I, to be fair, and I think I'm probably heavier than him, 
because I've got a beer gut. Um, or, <laughs> okay. But, you know, I, I, I'm not physically strong enough to compete against these top athletes in football. No way. And I, I think this guy, you know, what we've got to do with this guy, we've got to stick him out alone and beef him up, give him some mm. big stakes, you know, and get him there. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't impressed, man. I'll give him a four. Uh, let's go to Eddie and Ketty Nah, Kenny. Edward, Edward. One thing about Edward today is that you know there there was some sort of like inventiveness from the corner where he, where he, he nearly um, took Leeds by surprise, got in front of his defender, flicked it, and he hit the side net. But apart from that, you know, I don't think his manager would be shouting at him as much as uh, he normally does whenever the opposition is in possession, especially when they're trying to play at the back because Leeds. Um, you know, he wasn't. He he was. He wasn't exactly like hundred percent careless. But again, this is a game where we really needed him to hold the ball up, and he wasn't able to do that. So really and truly, if I'm marking him on what he, what I wanted him to give the team, I've got to give him a four as well because, you know, when you're under the cosh, one of the things that you know, you know, the opposition love is the fact that the ball keeps on coming back. And the ball, as the ball's coming back, the only person you've got to look at is the centre forward, who's not, you know, either closing down or holding the ball up. And you know, Edward didn't today do that. And you know, you can't take away from that because things like that are costly. You know, you can, you know, defences can only, you know, hold out, and you know, to come to, you know, so much pressure. Eventually, you know, the dam breaks. You know, the you know the ceilings collapse. And then we could have got a goal today. And let's face it, the ceiling collapsed, um, you know, at least once. And then Bamford um, decided not to take the opportunity we gifted him. So it was really, really close. And it shouldn't be close if, you know, your forwards are holding the ball up or chasing then um, the channels. Mm. Absolute facts. Um, let's go to last, but by no means least, the cheerleader for Mikel Arteta. We protected his value, Jez. Uh, Rob Holden. Uh, got a little run out. He got his little Brucey bonus for his appearance. Uh, what did you make of him, mate? I didn't actually see him do anything, to be honest. Um, be fair, he came on um, and disappeared. I, uh, I don't know. Was it the camera or was it? I don't know. I, I, I didn't see him do that bloody thing. So uh, sorry, mate. You get the four. Right. The moment you've all been waiting for. If you don't agree with the ratings, or you don't, um, or you don't like the ratings, we don't care. We genuinely do not care. Uh, just leave yours instead of crying. But you don't, and people come back every week. Oh, bah, bah, oh you're disgusted. Oh. yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, uh, dislike or like the video, um, and uh, make sure you subscribe to Jez's channel, Arsenal History and More. Make sure you follow Kenny Ken 1972. Uh, anyone who does watch this every week, regardless of whether they like it, you know how we roll. Three, two, one, and then we do the manager. I get involved. Yeah. It's not my player ratings, it's my manager ratings. So three, two, one, five, four. <laughs> I'm highest. <laughs> you are the highest. Why are you giving me a five? I'll tell you why, because I'll tell you why, because he did try to change it up. Um, I think with the weak, awful bench we've got, um, and it's proven today, we have a very weak bench, but he did try to change it. I think he did try to make some timely changes, but his tactics were all wrong today. He faced a Leeds team that he should have known that when you go to Leeds United, they're mm -hmm. always going to come on you. They they do it all the they, time. Yeah. They're always going to what? Come on you. They're going to throw. <laughs> press. Press. Edit that. Edit that. Yeah, go oh, that. Straight into that one, mate. Oh, go on, carry on. They're going to press. They're going yeah. to press. Mm. They're going to press it on you. They they, they always do. They, they, yeah, that's, that's the way they play at time. <laughs> at home. Sorry, you've thrown me out now. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but, um, that's, that's United. Leeds United, they always do it. it. It's, you know, it's an old school ground. 
But the thing, mm. the thing, yeah, their, their ground needs modernising. It's a shit hole, yeah. But oh, it's a there's a way to bypass their press, yeah, and 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 that's by playing not through the middle. You have to play quick, decisive, incisive, diagonal balls from left to right, right to left, from back to front, real quick, and you kill them off. We didn't do that today, which is why I gave them a free because Mikel Arteta, for me, knows that. We did it last year when Bielsa was on the edge of being sacked. Yeah. yeah, and we slapped them four one. Yeah, okay. with a with a worse team in terms of performances than we're doing now. But I understand why you're saying that. I, I get it. Listen, it's not an easy ground. They slapped Chelsea three nil. Yeah, they're 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 not an easy place to go to. But they, for some reason, looked so energetic, and we just looked lethargic today. And listen, it is what it is. Maybe some of them players is catching up with them. I don't know, but. It is what it is. But Kenny, what, what about your four? Well, the reason why the reason why I gave it a four, because simple reason is that I wasn't at the team selection of Tommy Asu. And you know, it's kind of bite us up the arse because if you're going to select players for your for a game in Norway and expect them to be fit for Leeds, then it's a kind of nothing. I repeat and I say it with you know, not arrogance, but just observation, the Champions League. You know, the cha- sorry, the Europa League standards are very low, and that that second eleven is good enough to win all the games. Maybe not. Um, I can understand if they're going to play against um, Eindhoven, but against all the other teams, you know, you didn't need those players because it's had an effect, whether we like it or not, against Leeds, a very energetic Leeds team, hard running, you know, hard tackling, relentless mm. Leeds side, and it could have cost us today. And, you know, that's why I'm, I'm having to go to the manager because, yeah, the players that go out and play, but you you should have, you know, like a, a filter about, you know, their levels of fitness going to a big game like this. We all knew Leeds were going to be energetic. We all knew that Bielf, some of Bielsa's um, methods are still going to be prevalent today, either hard running or high pressing. And, you know, that could have cost us today. So, yeah, I'm marking him down. But he's done a good, he's had a good season, but... You know, we won, so it's not as if he's going to have sleepless nights. He's just going to have to retweet it, retweet it for Thursday, and that's all I've got to say. You know what I mean? It's hundred percent, hundred percent, mate. Uh, big up to everybody who's watched this on um, playback. Uh, slap the likes up. Make sure you subscribe. Um, we will be back again tomorrow. Uh, so if you've um, if you've already got triggered by us today, don't worry. We're back again tomorrow for an hour. <laughs> I'll also be live with Henry Wright TV um, at 6 p.m. We're back at 5 p.m. tomorrow uh, for the podcast. 6 p.m. I'm live with Henry Wright. Um, Tuesday, obviously, I'm on with Terry and um, and Rance on here. Wednesday, I'll be on um, with Leanne. Um, I'd imagine you've been invited to that as well, Kenny. Um, I have, I have, yeah. 60th on Wednesday, so we're going to raise a little toast to Claude. Um, so make sure you're subscribing. Uh, make sure you subscribe to uh, Jez's channel, Arsenal History and More, and to Kenny Ken 1972 on Insta. But yeah, yeah we're going to wrap this up. Um, it was what it was. We're four points clear. The title was coming. Can you imagine if he wins the title? That'd be our biggest stream ever. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. I think. I think. I think. I think, I think oh, that's I think. What we've wanted. Yeah, but you know, you know what? I just want to say one thing. Right, we're not the only ones who've been critical of this performance. Go on Twitter. Mm. And there's worse than what we said. And they've been all honest. One person has used used um, an S word, a swear word to describe the Oh, no. And that's that, tricky top gooners. Yeah. And let me tell you one thing, right? I couldn't care less about City winning. I do not care. You know, I was there for the Invincibles. It was lovely, right? But come mm. on, it's a bit boring going on it, going on about it 18 years later when you haven't won the title. So I do not care that Man City, you know, won. Lost today, and don't care if ours is gold. Ours was gold 18 years ago. Since then, no title. How many of our fans online until, until, were actually until, alive uh, when it happened, though? That's what you've yeah, got to ask yourself. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, it's no, it's I don't blame the youngsters, they're entitled to that. Have no, I, I, I do, though, Penny. When it's the oldest, when it's the old gooners and guys are trying to get some clicks, come on, you're better than that. Come on, no, but that's, that's why I get the ump. It's like it's yours yeah. gold, but most of the people that are giving it is yours gold, never see it. Be gold. No. You you'll be surprised, yeah, Lee. Lee, you'll be surprised. to see where we go this season. Lee, Lee, <laughs> I promise you, you'll be surprised. There, there. People should know better using that mm. language. Don't get me wrong. You know, 
it's it's probably better to do it now and acceptable because we're actually winning games. But when we were losing, it was it was farcical, wasn't it? Hundred percent on that bombshell, we're out of here. Adios, amigos. Arteta Ferreira. Club is break. to start. Clubs comes first before player, fan, and manager. Victoria Concordia Crescent. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>